Pisces. Oof, I almost forgot. My eyes are too sensitive today. I have to keep them covered up. And my armpit started really itching all of a sudden. I'm like, what is going on? Why are my armpits itching? What's going on? But they smell good, so that's all that matters, right? No B.O. in this hoe, okay? Actually, you know, one of the best B.O. retardant I've ever used is lemongrass essential oil. Burns like a motherfucker, so you have to dilute it. But then the next day, you're like, you take a whiff under there, you still smell like lemongrass. You're like... The, the way a lemon works. Natural cleaning ingredients. You know, these birds just keep landing on my fucking balcony. And I don't know why. Maybe you're getting a visitor. I heard you poor unfortunate soul. Maybe you don't want to see this person. I mean, when I say visitor, somebody wants to see you bad enough, that motherfucker will show up in your dreams. Okay, Pisces. Where am I going? This is judgment. I just heard it again. So I heard judgment last night and I heard it again. And I know that judgment is coming out for everybody. Oh, I just started hearing, um, Hot Dog by Limp Biscuit. Um, Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. I, I'm a huge fan of Fred Durst. <laughs> and then Hot Dog, I was like just listening to that song. It's like one of my sister's favorite songs. The Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. <laughs> Oh, hey, did we get all the cards upright? Oh my gosh, we don't have a single card in reverse, except for Hot Dog. It came out in limbo. I haven't shuffled all the cards yet, so let's, let's see if anything else wants to come out here. Yep, I knew it. Flipper fingers. Oh, juggling act in reverse. And tightrope walker. Okay, so I really honestly, I feel like almost right away with this hot dog and Wheel of Fortune, because like how many people hate Fred Durst? Like, that's the thing. Like, you want to be famous, you got to be able to take it up the tailpipe on a regular basis with people who do not like you. Okay, so this is like coming, this, this is like, okay, this is like celebrity hate, okay? And, and I think that somebody is finally, they're at their judgment, right? Because people have hated them for just being themselves, right? So you're this hot dog, okay? That's just like in limbo, okay? You're a great meal. You're, you are satisfactory guaranteed, okay? Not everybody likes hot dogs, okay? But they're basically sold anywhere. Also, they're made up of a lot of ingredients and you can put so many things on a hot dog. And it is like, whew, a luxury. Okay, so this person who I'm picking up on, obviously you Pisces, okay? You are the hot dog in limbo, <laughs> okay? Um, you take it how it resonates, okay? But something's gonna change for you, which is why we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, with pop dog, uh, pop dog, <laughs> I'm dyslexic, uh, popcorn pandemonium. Okay, so something happens and in pandemonium, I can always see the word demon. Demon is right in the middle of pandemonium. There it is, just out there flashing full speed ahead. Okay, so I feel like there, there, you know, I feel like there is a demon. There is a demon on you, and he could have made a lot of things a juggling act for you. 
do things break around you a lot? Okay, do things just slip out of your hand for no fucking reason? Well, this is the reading for you, okay? Which is why the next card we've got, hold hands. Because what is this person doing with you? They're holding hands with you. Uh, why did I just say person? It's a demon. Is it a person? It's a demon in a person? Okay, so it's somebody that you are in union with. I mean, who do you hold hands with? Hold hands with your children, hold hands with your spouse, hold hands with your grandchildren. So this is somebody who holds hands with you or held hands with you, right? Could have been a guardian, right? Or guardian leadership, like uh, like I said, any like authoric figure, like grandfather, grandmother, aunt, uncle, babysitter for fuck's sakes, okay? Um, they held hands with you and that's what, because they had your hands, you couldn't juggle, right? Like, how are, how are you supposed to juggle your life when somebody's holding on to your hands? Or even one hand. That still only gives you one hand. And if you don't have any hands, then fuck! They took those two somehow, right? So, flipper fingers. What I'm getting with flipper fingers, I'm getting flipping fingers. I'm getting that... This person, you've been flipping off for a long time, okay? Because they put you in the limbo, right? And not only, I heard, just put you in the limbo, but made you a delicious snack for everybody to just eat off you. Like I said, you're not for everybody, but there are a lot of people that fucking love hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? And not sausage sandwiches, okay? Hot dogs, not dicks, hot dogs, literally, okay? But you know what? Some people, I mean, they like, they'll like, you know, dick, dick-shaped dick things because really they just want dicks in their mouth, okay? Where is this reading going, really? I'm going to get banned from YouTube any day for talking about dicks in people's hands. Great. And then look at juggling act goes in reverse. So they made you juggle a lot of shit, okay? Like, I'm talking a lot. And if you don't actually know how to juggle, even better. Because you've been doing it in another dimension, you refuse to do it here. Okay? I can't, I don't know how to juggle. Never really got the whole fucking concept. I'm like a one jump, you know, I throw one at a time and then catch it and think that that's juggling. It's not. Okay? So this, this juggler, okay, that was you, is now done. Which is why we have the tightrope walker. I feel like you are now elevating. Because think about it. A juggler tightrope walker. If you're going to be a part of something, what would you rather be? Okay. A juggler who technically has no hands because you have to hold hands with this demon. Okay. Or a tightrope walker that technically just needs her hands for balance. She doesn't technically need her hands. So this is like, I'm almost getting to the bottom of this story. This is almost like them taking things away from you, okay, by mistreatment of your hands. And now I'm getting arthritis. If you have arthritis in your hands, or if your hands, you constantly hurt them, or you hit them and you, you know, like you're, you're just hammering away and pff, hammer your hand, you go to close your car door, pff, there goes your hand. Um, like just hurting of the hands. I'm getting a lot of hands hurting. And like that could be arthritis, inflammation, right? You could have broke a lot of fingers, um, surgery, stuff like that. It's because this demon was holding your hands. So now the world, because this was such mistreatment, the world is putting you into a position where technically you don't even need your hands. Not that they're going to take them away from you, but that they're never going to put you in another position where somebody, because your hands have been so abused, they're not going to put you in another position where you have to use your hands or you can't do that job. That's what it is. You never fully know how the message is going to get out, considering that just took like eight full minutes to get that message out. But there's lots of roads you can go down before the whole message comes out. 
So now I want to get, because you realize, oh yeah, you know, I was like, you realize this person has not come out in form that is doing this, but they have come in form of a demon. So the demon, that's what it is. This demon is now telling on this person. And that's what's going to end up happening is if people summon things, right? Like demons to come and do jobs for them. If those demons don't get paid properly, and I'm talking, they want death, okay? They want blood. They want money. They want guts. They want people screaming at the top of their lungs, okay? These demons, they want fucking, they want hardcore porn, okay? They want S&M shit. They want the illegal shit you got to go underground to get. That's what these demons want. So if this motherfucker who summoned this demon just to come and play games with you, and they didn't pay him? He's going to tell on them and then haunt them. I just heard no doubt. Okay. So give me this person. Yeah. Like this is all coming out. Holy moly. Tired and drained. Oh no. Hi squirrel. Hello. Hi. I have a squirrel. He's just sitting and staring at me because I just gave them all bread. So he's, oh, there he goes. Okay. They come and say thank you with their bread in their mouth. It's so cute. Okay. So seven of pentacles in, in delay now. It's in, you know, it's in between. It's like, are we going to be able to continue this mission? No. Okay. Seven of pentacles in her tired and drained. This demon is tired and drained. Okay, they have overused this demon to just keep you juggling. Like, oh, thanks, bitch. It's always fucking women. Guardian Watcher, I told you. What did I say about the guard? What was I talking about with guardians? Oh, there are guardians here. And if you're a guardian and you're getting messed with and you're a watcher and you're doing your job, and this person's coming in with a demon to come and fuck with you. You know that that lesser energy with the demon is not going to win against a guardian, a watcher, a protector. There is no way a demon is going to win. That's why this demon is pissed. Because not only didn't they win, but they, they would have done stuff to you. Okay, they would have fucked with you. And then they didn't get paid. Anybody that does work and doesn't get paid. I've heard some nightmare stories about employees going to get what's theirs. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we got clearing in reverse. So this person, um, this demon, um, they were summoned as a guardian. Okay. They were summoned as a, as a guardian to to hurt you. Ooh, we got the poor and homeless card. Oh my God, were you homeless or poor? Well, that's thanks to this dickhead. Oh, American. Oh, are you American? Or this person's American? Or this demon is American? Something is American here. And this is supposed to be the energy on this person who summoned this demon. Okay, and then we got in your veins. Oh, they got in. They got into you. Oh, this this demon got into you. Childhood trauma. Oh, that's why somebody summoned because you are a sufferer of childhood trauma. So this was a really easy guardian to put into your life. Okay, because you have a natural tendency um, of having traumatic people around you. So this demon walks in as a guardian and you take them in because A, you don't know that they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. You have no idea as they're hiding, but because you've had so much trauma, right? The people that are in your veins or the people that want to get into your veins, you, you somehow tend to allow because you don't want to be alone because you've suffered too much alone and you're fragile and you're vulnerable so they latch on to things like that right because you can you couldn't clear 
You couldn't, you couldn't clear your temple and somebody saw that you couldn't clear your temple. So they just started shoving more things in there. The more demons and the more obstacles and the more bullshit they could shove into you, the more that they could hurt you because you were so open because you really wanted support. You wanted love. You wanted foundation. You wanted family. You wanted support. You wanted all around, right? You wanted protection, right? So they, pu they pulled a huge joke on you. And instead of saying that they were going to help you, they took everything from you and they watched you. They watched these hard times come over you and did nothing for you because it was their job to fuck with you. Oh. Oh, fucking Christ. Look at this love bomb. With the Six of Cups in reverse. So, yo, we got the Six of Cups two times. So, this is definitely a part of your past. This is definitely your family. I'm also getting Love Bomb. Uh, the way that I saw this Love Bomb was that's the seed. So, you're the baby. This could be your parents. And the whole point was to Love Bomb the baby. But really, the whole point was to Love Bomb the mother. She wanted all of the perks that came along with being pregnant. Right? She wanted the party. She wanted the attentiveness. She wanted everybody love bombing her. Okay? It was all a part of the show. But then when it came down to actually being a mother or actually being a parent, this person was like, I ain't going to be no parent. I just want to look like a parent. Oh, you're one of those people. You don't actually want to be a cop. You just want to appear as a cop. You just want to take all your Instagram pictures and your photos and have your family gatherings and your voodoo meetings to make it look like you're this happy couple. But as soon as everybody leaves and the show's over, that's when the kids get beat. Oh, that's when the food gets taken away. Oh, now Johnny's fucking grounded for three weeks because he told his cousin something he wasn't supposed to. That's the real family, not the one that put on the fucking show while everybody was around. Fucking assholes. I hate that shit. Because you know how hard it is to prove that your family is psycho when everybody sees the Partridge family and when you go home, you get fucking Sunday bloody Sunday for no reason? You're just walking, walking into your bedroom and you just get fucking slapped? You just go walking into your bedroom and you get fucking shot by one of your parents? Like, really? Oh, but your parents are so nice though, right? Because everybody sees them on Sunday at church. Fuck you. Yeah, hide behind God. Ha! Oh man, this Germany card has been coming up like a motherfucker, but it's in reverse. And I said, I said to one of my sister about a reading the other day, and I was like, you know, I was like, Germany in reverse. And she goes, Nazis. And I'm like, Courtney, no, that is not why I made the Germany card. And she's like, I call it as I see it. And she's, you know, she's definitely very clairvoyant and she has massive gifts. She can read a fucking birth chart like it was your fucking medical report you know like she's really she knows her shit and i'm getting germany in reverse and that's where she said nazis this person could be extremely fucking racist now i just heard they could this person could be so racist your mom could be white your dad could be black they break up suddenly they hate black people but you've got black in you so now they hate you too like this is that kind of shit like really you're gonna hate your own your own flesh and blood Oh, because I don't have the same color skin as you? Wow. Congratulations, parent. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, this person could actually literally be racist against their own. And I heard black on black lynching as well. And that's from The Shield. This has been coming up a lot recently with some shit about my, with my sister and I because I was like massively molested as a child. And I know other people in my family were. And everybody fucking... Everybody turned their backs on me. And I'm talking like these women are so fucked up. They take pills every day to keep themselves sane. They can't even look at what their parents have done to them. And they crucified me. They black on black lynched me. My own fucking aunt stopped talking to me whose dad molested her because she doesn't want to come out of the closet and tell anybody. So she fucking called me a liar. And this is that shit, right? This is that person trying to say that they're a mother, trying to say that they care, but they don't. They don't. They'll, they'll fucking, they'll be the first one to line you up against everybody else and go, yeah, shoot my kid. Fuck my kid. Like, really? 
Really? You put something here and then you turn your back on it? You create something, you turn your back on it, you might as well be worse than fucking Hitler. You, you're fucking worse than anybody who's ever started a war. You are the war, okay? And I'm talking this probably isn't you. This is obviously your parent. Because you, like I said, are the hot dog. Ooh, ew, ew. Oh, I'm so glad I made these cards. Oh, okay. So we're getting a little bit more about your parents here. Um, we've got father suicidal. So we've got the king of cups here. Very, very suicidal father. Or using suicide as a crutch. Constantly saying if they can't drink, if they can't do drugs, if they can't um, exercise, extracurricular activities that make them feel good, they're going to kill themselves. Really? Good job for putting that on a parent, fucking idiots. Then we got the Queen of Cups. These are your parents, Queen and King of Cups. So this mother here that we got, we've got the supportive mother. So this could be the feminine energy was supportive. Doesn't necessarily mean it was your mother. The feminine energy could have been put into your father while your mother was the crazy bitch. Okay? Always saying she was going to kill herself. That's another, that's six feet, I'm now getting six feet under with George. Um, George goes back into his childhood and realizes how fucked up his mother was. And the shit his mother used to do. Like, his mother used to just make him hold hands with her for, like, hours to the point where, like, she'd fall asleep drunk and he was still sitting there crying, like, in the morning. Like, his, his mom was, 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 okay, let's, let's, walk, let's talk about his mother because this could be yours, right? Super, like, husband left or died, okay? So left mother on her own. Um, and now mother can't sexually seduce herself or her husband anymore. So then she starts going to the child, right? She starts making children bring her a towel as she's getting out of the bath, right? So then the child can look at the naked mother, idolize the naked mother. Look at your beautiful naked mother in front of you, right? A lot of very intense, it's almost like inbreeding, right? It's like they wanted to, to sleep with you, right? And, and that's the, the thing with sick parents is that because you look like their spouse, they often want to rape you because you look like their husband or their daughter, right? That's another, that was in without a trace, now I'm getting without a trace. This daughter runs away from home and the father keeps trying to get her back and saying how much he loves her. But really he was molesting her since the age of like eight years old because the wife died. And then the daughter started looking more and more like the wife every day. And the father couldn't hold back. So he started raping the daughter because it looked like the mother. See how fucked up this shit can get? Like, this isn't cool because everybody wants... See, there's African-American right there. I'm telling you. Like, you could be, or other way around, you know, like like your, your mother left and you're white and your mother was white and now your black father fucking hates you, right? Like, it, it's something so messed up. That, that when they get there, they've gotten caught because now they've used a demon to get into your veins. Okay. And then we've got this eight of wands over here, kind of in reverse because this is a little bit naive. Okay. Like, um, this person didn't see the bigger picture of what they were doing. Okay. I, I think they were so headstrong in, in the whole, I want to have a baby. Let's just have a baby. Everybody have a baby. It's not a fucking baby. It's a child. It's a, it's a kid. It's, a, it's an adult. It's a human. It's not a baby, okay? And I can't stress that enough that somebody just wanted the baby show. Just want the baby show. I just want the baby show. And then summoned a demon because they didn't want to take care of the baby anymore. Okay? I, I was like, man, I've got to be talking forever. Okay, so uh, do we need anything else here for the collective that is watching this right now? Ooh, okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like this you're going to cut this person off, okay? Ooh, Sammy and Troy Dyer in reverse. King of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Cups in reverse. I really do feel like you're going to cut this King and Queen right out of your life, okay? They, they know what they've done. Ooh, now we have Irish. We have Irish, Mexican, and we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Can't stop, won't stop. So I really feel like, I mean, you could be Mexican, Irish, um, African-American, German. We've got quite a few 
out here, okay? And then this Eight of Pentacles here, like, like you, I think you are not going to stop until this is done, okay? And when you think of, of, of yourself and dealing with these people and how much hate they threw at you and how little they tried to be a part of your life, um, the energy wasn't going to stop until the message came through. Three of Wands, Four of Wands. I can't help but say, though, I do feel like something happened on uh, St. Patrick's Day. And now I've got with Mexican Santa Morte, which is the death curse. And I do feel like if they, if they did summon the guardian of death that I think that they did, then no doubt I'm sure you struggled. Ooh, we got 888 just right in the middle here. I think, you know, like if, if this has been a struggle to you and, and you've been, been on this juggling act, um... I think they've tried to death curse you for a while. And that's why you're coming out so miraculously in the end. And the universe does something to ensure that you know that they know what, they, what this person did. Life is not a juggling act. act. Life is not something you're supposed to fuck with with somebody else. Life is supposed to be something that is shared. It's supported. It's, you know, it, it's not, oof. Yeah, this is a, this is some news. Okay. This might be some shocking news for somebody. There's some painful, shocking news coming in here. This was a shocking attack. Like if, if this makes sense to you, this is going to shock you a little bit because I mean, who would have thought their own mother would put a fucking death curse on them? Because as soon as you were born, the show stopped being about the pregnant fantasy that this person had. They had to be a mother and they didn't want, they didn't think about that. They didn't think about the repercussions, repercussions of what was going to happen to them if they took something that wasn't theirs or if they attacked something that wasn't theirs. Right? Woo! Committed projector in reverse holding back yeah this person was definitely a cheater cheater pumpkin eater Ooh, enemy yeah this person really like they held back a lot from you and that's they held back money from you they held back love from you they held back emotions from you right because they were committed to themselves and only themselves they wanted to go where they needed to go and they cheated cheater cheater pumpkin eater this person was an enemy. They were a trickster. They wanted to do everything behind your back because once the job was there, then they finally they didn't want it anymore. And that's the thing. Be careful what you wish for. I mean, I can't say that loosely. That's something to be taken very seriously. Be careful what you wish for because the one thing that you wish for could kill you. Because honestly, I don't even think wishes should exist, right? Other than other than wishing the best for yourself and on your journey, why should wishes exist? This isn't, this isn't a fucking I dream of genie. Like this, this isn't like fucking make a wish and so shall it be. Like this isn't the Oz show. Like this is fucking real life with energy and people and purpose and mission and, and goals and life and, 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 and jobs that were supposed to be done by people who signed up to do those jobs. And then went, oh, it's going to take too much. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, okay. Well, just go throw your kid out in the middle of the ocean and let a shark eat it. I don't know what to say. Just give up then. Fucking idiots. But instead of giving up, they just made it seem like they were still fighting for you, but they weren't. Which is why your life went to shit. Pisces, I hope it exists. I hope it exists. <laughs> That's not the right word either. Um, I hope this makes sense and resonates. And uh, if you want a personal reading, go to my about section. My email's there. My email's also in the bottom of this reading. And, uh, yeah. Also, in my about section, there's all my prices and shit there. So take a look at that. See what you like. Ring me up. We'll do this. And I hope it makes sense. Peace out.